Which you guys got another video here for you. This is a software review video and it's a, of a tool called Windows Repair Toolbox. Okay, now this uh, this is the guy's name here who created a tool. Now I'm not affiliated in any way to Windows Repair Toolbox, so I take no responsibility if you use this tool and mess up your computer. These types of tools are very useful for PC repair techs uh, when they do. Uh, repetitive tasks over and over and over again this can sometimes speed up the process um, but again it's a bit automotive I think that's what these types of tools are there's quite a lot of them on the internet some paid some free there's a freeware one and uh, you can see the disclaimer here you use this at your own risk and uh, rightly so because obviously these tools can do damage to your system if you don't know what you're doing now the download links are here as you can see and the donate your buttons down there so let's open it up and have a look at the actual program itself. Just let this load up. Now if you guys, uh, if this is much any good to you or you want to see more on this, maybe what we can do is have a quick look at the program now and then in the comments section below or on my forums, you can head over there and tell me that you want to see a video with this in action, i.e. fixing stuff and removing malware and that will be uh, okay. I can make a video on that then. So you can see here we've got the tools tab, malware removal tab, uh, final test tab, um, notes, settings and the about tab okay, which gives you the information of the guy who created it. The only thing I see wrong with these types of programs is some people do create really good uh, programs and then they just don't keep them up to date and they just sort of fall in, into the category of risky because they are so out of date. Uh, so I do hope that these people that create these programs, they do get help and support from people and then they can continue their work because they are very useful to, as I said, PC repair techs. So let's take a look at the tools area here. As you can see here, we've got a report. This is going to give you a, a web root uh, system analysis. A little bubble will pop up and give you the information, which is quite a nice little feature that tells you what it actually does before you click on it. And now also you've got CPU Z and stuff like that. You can, when you click on these, basically what's going to happen is it's going to download the program. You click agree and start, and then it will run the program and start to do a test, okay, on the system. And this will give you a full analysis of your system here. Let me just cancel that. As you can see, hardware, software, and frets, okay. And you can save the report and then post those onto forums and stuff like that if they request that which is very, very useful. Also here we've got some other bits, HDD scan, and you've also got Speccy, uh, VM test, and so on. Auto runs, great little tool. This will download it, you agree to it, and then open it. And uh, basically you can use this program, very useful. Uh, you've got your backup and recovery area here. I'm not gonna open every single one of these. Useful tools uh, here as well, as you can see patch my PC very useful uh, useful bits and pieces in here Windows tools as you can see here you've got your check disk check disk uh, C colon forward slash R uh, SFC scan out and so on reg uh, edit here and uh, MS config I'm not sure if there's a, a reg backup and stuff like that that might be a nice little feature there from eRun or something like that that backs up your registry maybe a system restore point or something like that before people start messing around with this sort of stuff. Uh, but again, repairs, uh, they may be already in, on this and I haven't seen them yet, uh, but you've got your Microsoft Fix It. This will take you to the website, I should imagine, and gives you the access to all the Fix It tools. Very, very useful. Um, again, repair all in one tool. You've seen me use that before. Mini Toolbox, which is a very useful tool. This will download it and then start to uh, give you the access to these uh, fixing like flush DNS and so on. You've seen me use these before. Very useful for malware removal people. Uh, you know, MBAR, uh, maybe um, Firebars recovery um, scanning tool and also servicing um, Firebars service scanner would be a nice little add-on here. And also uh, OTL or something like that if the guy who's made this is watching. That'll be a nice little add-on. 
But again, you've got your own installers here and you've got your information here about all your system. Let's move on to the malware removal. Again, you can see you put your ticks in here. This is going to allow you to run an unattended fix, i.e. it's going to automate your fix. So for a PC repair tech, some people like this method. Um, they will tick what they want to run, click the run bar, uh, the run box there, and uh, what will happen is it will start to run and start to fix all these um, computers with these tools, i.e. TDSS killer, combo fix, and so on. The more you tick, the more it will run. You've got your ADW cleaner, JRT, as you can see, Hitman Pro, all your usual suspects here to run. You've got your optimizing tools here, see cleaner, auto runs, defragger, update, you can update your Windows, Java, Adobe Flash, and Adobe Reader here. Very useful uh, for malware removal. You can always add to this, I suppose. It'd be a nice little uh, feature if you could add more stuff on, but I suppose that's further down the line. Uh, checks, report, and you can flash player and so on, which is very useful. Um, as you can see here, stress test, browser check, which is a nice little feature. You click on this and it will check your browser uh, for vulnerabilities and also to tell you whether you're up to date or out of date. And you can rescan there. Very useful. Let's just close this off. Again, um, microphone, record, stop and play. And a webcam, start and stop. Not sure what that's for, but maybe uh, for some sort of support or something. Uh, notes, you can add in your notes here, I suppose. Settings, uh, clear downloads, clear checkboxes, clear notes. And uh, again, you've got your monitors, uh, unattended fixed scans, so on. Full scan, smart scan, and so on here. And as you can see, pretty much uh, check for updates, restore to defaults, and there's the About uh, tab here. So that's basically the Windows Repair Toolbox. And uh, it's uh, from Alexandre, I think his name is there. So I'm not going to read the whole name. It's a full-blown name, that is, isn't it? But uh, a pretty good work there. So I would like to see uh, people's res uh, comments here to see whether they want to see me use this and show you it in action. It would be a great little video, I think. You see me do other videos on that sort of stuff. So let me know in the comment section below or on the forums or on my Facebook page, and I'll get to that video for you. So thanks again for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit the like button, and also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. Now, also, if you haven't been over the forums, then the information is on the screen. Head over to the forums. Got any problems with your computers? You can post them over there. It's best to contact me over there because you're going to get more likely get an answer from me on the forums, okay? So anyway, thanks again. Bye for now.